Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Ah, it is Saturday. Thank goodness it's Saturday. I know it's supposed to be thank goodness it's Friday. What do you say for Saturday? Just yippee? <laughs> yippee Kaye? <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, it's Saturday, February 18th, 2017, and we're continuing every single day with a pocket dump deconstruction. Hey, before we start, go catch the new knife of the day. The knife of the day is the um, Spydeco Zulu. What a unique small knife that just melts in the hand, looks perfect. Ugh, go check it out, okay? Give it your love too, thumb it up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, if you're one of those 65% of the folks who watch the videos, but haven't subscribed, just hit that subscription button. Now let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. It's Saturday. That means it's time for my tag. I just love my tag. I do. I just think it's it's uh, simple, but not simple. Well made, sturdy, strong, sound kind of familiar. Yeah, that's kind of the carry I'm going with. <laughs> Seems simple, but not well made, strong. That's my tag watch for this Saturday. Oh, man. There is no, hold on. Oh. There is nothing simple about this Cuban cigar. Strong, maybe for some, to me, just right. Handmade, just a wonderful cigar. And this is special. H. Upman. Magnum 56, it's limited from 2015. Oh, it smells. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's later. <laughs> it's always good to have something to go to later, right? You can't, you can't peek too soon. That's later tonight when I'm sitting just enjoying, what a wonderful, look, it's February 18th, I'm on the East Coast of the United States, and it's a beautiful day in the 60s, oh, just perfect, perfect day, knock wood, because how the weather's been two days from now, it could be zero degrees, who knows, <laughs> I mean, who knows, the wallet, oh no, oh no, I'm sorry, oh, yeah, it's McCollin, single mold. I cannot, and I, you know what? I, I buy foo-foo stuff and enjoy some good stuff, but I'm not foo-foo down in my heart. <laughs> so my kids got foo-foo. Um, and I, I'm a, you gotta have a good single mold with this. You just have to, you have to with that wonderful cigar, and I will. Um, the wallet, one of my um, coach, vintage coach, thin wallets. The coin, you guys know I love these Lunar Year coins. This is the second series of the Lunar Year coins, Australian coin series. This is uh, from 2010. This is the year of the tiger. Let's move the knives. Yeah, it's Saturday. I guess the theme for Saturday is... Classy, plain, and very strong knives. I'm going Chris Reeve pretty much all the way, except for my keychain knife. Yeah, this to me is the upgraded keychain knife. <laughs> it's, it's the man bug, and no, the man bug isn't upgraded from the ladybug. It is different. It's a wider blade, a wider handle. Still a wonderful keychain knife. But this one is the one that has a stainless steel bolster. Gray G10 instead of that lightweight FRN, fiberglass reinforced nylon one that most people have of ladybugs and man bugs. Has the uh, back lock, of course, and has stainless steel liners as well. So it's, it's, it's a lot different. It's only an ounce and a half. It, it doesn't... It, it makes it a little weightier. It's not as lightweight as the FRN. Gives it a good weight to me, but it looks nice as well. This is the man bug. 
two inch, just under two inch blade, VG10 steel, just a real nice knife. This, my friends, no matter what they tell you, this is the first in Cinco, in, in Cozy. Why do I keep saying in single? Because I want it in Cozy with an in single blade. This is the first Chris Reeve in Cozy. Not the $2,500 limited edition first, but he first introduced it and it was the small in Cozy. It wasn't called small in Cozy, it was just the in Cozy. And he said, he introduced it because he saw that people were going for smaller knives. And then later, he introduced the large in Kosi and we realized that he was replacing the uh, Sabenza 25 with an upgraded 25 and calling it an Nkosi. I called this in the beginning a small Sabenza 25. I still call it a small Sabenza 25 because there's no, there's no such thing as a small Sabenza 25. And that's why I'm in love with the small and cozy because <clears throat> there's there's nothing else in the collection, the Chris Reeve collection, that is a small 25. Again, Chris Reeve, larger washers, um, larger pivot. On the back, he has changed the clip. He angled it off of the lock bar. But it's a 25, a small version of the 25. Everything else is the same, the profile, the blade. S35 VN steel. The Encosi is smaller than the small Sabenza 21. This comes in at 2.75 inches. Encosi is chief in Zulu. Zulu is a native language of South Africa. Chris Reeve is South African. Just a wonderful knife, really is. I like the plain Jane version, but I already have four of these. Two of them are limited <laughs> carbon fiber and carbon fiber inlays. I'm loving these. <laughs> it seems to be slow going to the distributors with all the variations that I'm sure are gonna come out on this. Right now, um, you know, besides the carbon fibers, they've done three different, um, uh, other inlays, but I'm waiting for more because I really like this. Perfect size from me. Perfect size for the carry today. I figured if we're going to do a small 25, we might as well do the large 25. <laughs> this little special though, this is the Starbenza 25, not the Subbenza 25. The Starbenza is a series of knives. It's a collaboration between Chris Reeve and the good folks at Wilson Tactical, a subdivision of Wilson Combat. Wilson Tactical does just that, sells guns and knives and that kind of thing. For a number of years, they've been doing the Starbenza collection from Chris Reeve, taking the Chris Reeve knives. Now, they haven't done the Starbenza treatment to the Nkosi. I hope they do. I really hope they do. So this is the Starbenza 25. Everything is just like the regular 25, except for the starburst pattern on the titanium handles. Um, same dimensions with the blade, 3.6 inch S35 VN steel. I love the two knobs right here. I don't know why I blanked on that. You guys know what they are. <laughs> I love that this is a twofer. Um, and the Starburst is, is, is the brand for Wilson Tactical. And so you see that on the titanium. Everything else is exactly the same as any other uh, Sabenza 25. This is the only one that I know of the only Chris Reeve knife that I know of, you guys can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, where they actually have the pattern, whether it's an inlay, etched, or whatever, that goes over on the lock bar. Usually it keeps the lock bar and the clip pristine. Just not polished, not anything. On this though, they do have the starburst on the lock bar 
and they have the Wilson Tactical logo on the clip. Special bead as well with Wilson Tactical on it. Just a wonderful variation on the Sabenza 25. Just a real nice variation. I have a, uh, a clip on this channel of my Sabenza 25, so go check them out. I, that's why I'm not that excited about the large and Kosi's. Um, I have so many Sabenza 25s that a large and Kosi, even though they're updated with some of these new things, really, I'm, I'm fine with my 25s. I'm going to concentrate on the small and Kosi's, which are, for me, real different. There you have it. That's the carry. That's what I'm shoving in my pocket to go to dinner. Just a few moments. Oh, it feels good, sturdy, manly, Saturday. And then at the end, oh, 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 oh. no matter what you do at dinner, whether it's wine or any other things, good conversation, all that stuff, but it's great to come home, turn off all, all of the noise, even though you don't know that it's noise, all the social media, sit down and just think. That's my time. I always recommend that you guys take some your time too. If I did this earlier, I would have been a better husband, father, worker, friend, all right, grandfather. So you guys are younger. Take some time for yourself. It's okay to be selfish. All right, there you have it. That's it. Thumb it up. Let me know that you guys liked it. Man, there are two videos a day. Do you realize that this week? Two videos a day. Do you realize two months from now, at least two videos a day. Do you know 12 months from now, two videos a day or more, who knows, right? <laughs> but not less. So I'm so happy with all of your support. Hey, thank you for all the comments. I read them as soon as they go dink, I check them out. Um, also, thank you for all the love. Thumb this up. If you're already a, a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for your support. If you haven't yet, if you're part of that 65% that haven't hit that subscribe button, hey, it's free, hit it. We're making our way to 2,000 subscribers. Once we do that, I'm giving away two Spyticos. At least one will be a Sprint Run limited edition. Now, every Saturday, a couple of things happen. Well, every single day, we talk about the knife that got away. I already knew I was going to go with the Starbenza family. I, I just wanted to carry a Starbenza. I started out wanting to carry this because I hadn't in the past. I've carried the Starbenza 21, 25, the smaller ones, but I rarely, I have carried this, but I rarely carry it. This is the collaboration between Chris Reeve, as we talked, and Wilson Tactical, but this is with the Umnams on. Now, of course, they can't call this Star Benza because it wasn't a Sabenza. This is called the Star Tac. Star Tac is the name for their treatment of the Umnamzun. Everything I just mentioned is with this. You see the branding all over it. Um, the same thing on the lock bar, the brand. It's still an Umnamzun, 3.7 inches of S35 VN steel. It's still everything that you know. Oh, man, what a beast. What a freaking beast. <laughs> the boss. It's the Umnum Zun. Um, That's the knife that got away. Also, on Saturdays, I go down and pick up all my Amazon stuff. <laughs> but I'm looking at all the empty Amazon boxes in this little apartment. I'm just lazy. <laughs> when I work, I work. When I don't work, I'm a bum. Uh, I've got to empty out everything. So I went down, and of course, Saturday and Sunday, I always go down. Sunday, I go down to pick up my Blue Apron box of food, and they always hold my stuff hostage back in the mailroom until I bring them a knife, and we sit around telling lies, laughing, and cutting up boxes. <laughs> That's what my life's come to. You know what? That's better than anything else. People go to Paris and stuff. I go down to the mail room and cut up boxes. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. So we all, I always take down a big knife. It's not one of the knives that I carry. And this time, <laughs> I've just been on an Ed Shimp kind of 
run. I got the new Ed Chimp um, uh, ethnic knife the other day. One of the knives of the day was an Ed Chimp knife uh, yesterday. And now I took this one down. It's a beast. It's the Ed Chimp Tough. T-U-F-F from Spyderco. And it's a beast. I got this early on collecting. And I'll tell you, this thing made me cry. It was so freaking stiff when I first got it. I couldn't open it. It was so stiff. I had to get a butter knife to open it. Now, man, when it broke, look at it. <laughs> now I'm scared when I release it that it's going to cut me. <laughs> it's just a real... Look at it. <laughs> it just loosened up perfect for me it's a big hunk of knife here's the deal though with ed chimp he likes to he and a lot of people don't like ed chimp for this i like his knives i love his creativity he likes to angle his blades so that they're better with the wrist for cutting he just likes that the other thing is he uses a lot of the blade now this blade is cpm 3v steel 3v steel now, someone told me it was something like D2. I'm not that familiar with 3V Steel. If you guys have more information, leave it in the comments. Educate us all. But he does use a lot of blade. You guys know I love forward choil, so I like when he uses the blade. I love that you can grip it here. I love you can choke up on it. The All of that steel blade of 3V Steel is 3.7 inches. But the actual edge is three inches. And that's what a lot of people get upset about. You know, it's seven tenths of an inch that he leaves for the choil. I love that. I love how he, this is a very thick blade. So he's really helping cut down on the steel and lighten it up as much as he can. Black G10 with all those dimples. I love that. Look at the pivot. Spyderco spent some time on the pivot. It's not their simple pivot, which I love as well. Stainless steel liners. This is full tie with the dimple on the lock side. Very nice Chris Reeve integral frame lock that works like butter. <laughs> it really does. And it has a stainless steel lock insert as well so that this titanium doesn't wear down and travel on you. Man, again, it made me cry. <laughs> I could, I was so upset it wouldn't release so nice, but now it does. It's discontinued. I was surprised it was discontinued. Spyderco does that, man. They handle their inventory, don't they? Either it doesn't sell or it's a limited edition and it sells out or it starts selling then it peters. They are not afraid to discontinue them. They do come up on the secondary market, though. What a wonderful knife. I love it. The guys went crazy for this knife. So this is the Spydeco. My mailroom knife for today is the Spydeco Ed Chimp Tough. T-U-F-F. -F, beast of a knife. 3V steel. I don't have, I think I have maybe one other knife with 3V steel. That's it, you guys. Thanks for all your support. Don't forget like it share it subscribe and turn on that notifications because i'm recording a lot of videos okay you guys have a perfect day perfect perfect day goodbye